Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can of beer, bottle of beer. Sometimes a spirit or a wine will drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We take a look at the label. We read everything on the label. We check out the artwork. We see what they're trying to sell us. We crack it open and see if it meets those expectations. First of all, though, all beers should be served at the correct temperature. That means that all lagers should be served between 37 and 47 degrees Fahrenheit, ales between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. It's good folks at Thermalworks sent me one of their lollipop thermometer pens, <coughs> th thermometers. <laughs> that way I can take the temperature of all of the beers that we taste here at <coughs> the old growler. Also, all beers <coughs> we taste here all have the same glassware, and that way nobody has a leg up as far as clarity or aromatics. Speaking of aromatics, most people, when they do a tasting, they will take a look, they will sniff, they will sip, and they will pontificate. Well, I'll pontificate, but I'll sip first. Why? Wine expert Fred Dax will explain it all to you. He does a lot better job than I do. All right, what do we have today? Very simple looking uh, label on this one. It, it caught my eye. It looks like a, a film reel on there for some reason, and so I... I, I it says Notch, N-O-T-C-H, Kosh, and uh, it is a Cologne-style golden ale, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, brewed and canned by Zero Gravity Craft Brewery for Notch Brewing Company, Burlington, Vermont. Uh, notchbrewing.com. It's an ale, one pint. The government warning that I should not operate heavy machinery or be a pregnant woman operating heavy machinery. And it's got a big old notch on there. Uh, $5.99 at the local beer barrel. It says canned on November. Uh, yeah. October 26th, and this is December 14th, I think it is, anyway. So it's a, a little ancient, not too ancient, a couple months old. Uh, for a cologne-style beer in a can, I wouldn't worry about it. So what am I looking forward to here? <clears throat> well, of course, it's a, a nice full-bodied, uh, clear beer that's got a, a nice golden touch to it. Uh, there's a particular touch uh, to the aromatics, the hops. So you're going to get a lot of classic hop in the aroma. Uh, a slightly malty, nice little bit of a sweet beer underneath supporting those uh, hops. Well, let's crack that open and see if this meets expectations. A little on the light side. I just had a beer uh, not be happy with its confines, and so I was a little hesitant to overpour on this one. But it looks like, it certainly looks like a, a, a lager, a, a pale lager style, Pilsner style, Kolsch style beer. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, let's see what we got here as far as the temperature. It is 45 degrees Fahrenheit, so it is right at the top there as far as <clears throat> the perfect temperature for a lager style beer. Okay, well, it looks the part. It's got the right temperature. Let's see if it tastes the part. Cheers. Yeah. I took two sips. The reason is it's around two in the afternoon on a Monday, and my taste buds they they still haven't got to work yet. They're still they're still having a siesta. Well, I just woke them. <clears throat> Let's see what their little uh, olfactory friends have to say. Whoa, nice graininess. 
I'm getting a little bit more grain than I, I was expecting than hops. Maybe I, I've, I've got my backwards. I'll have to check and see the difference between a, a Kolsch and a Pilsner. But that's a nice, that's got a nice little toasty kind of a, a, a aroma to that. that that's, that's sweet. Let's, let's see what the taste buds have to say. Oh, that borders on the sweet, but not quite. It ends up to be kind of a toasty thing. Well balanced. And what a body. Ooh, nice. I mean, it's not it's not huge, but it certainly is. Wow. That's a well-made cold style beer. That's, yep, yeah, that's on. So does Notch Kolsch, their Cologne style golden ale meet expectations. Wow, they certainly do. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. A thumbs up would be great. Share us with your friends and a comment would be really appreciated. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.